We open on the wall, built by Donald J. Trump. Oh, fuck yes, there's Jono. He's having a great sleep. He deserves some rest, I reckon. Bloody King's Landing is depressing as fuck. We don't like that place. Burn it. Jamie, don't go back to Cersei. Has she changed? Probably not. Who have we got next? Is it Davos or with the Boltons? Oh, bugger off with your fucking 20 good men. I love a barbecue though. Smells delicious. Give Stannis his money back. Horses, more horses. Gotta love horses. Here's a ring. Jorah's still trying to escape the friend zone. There's the Sheila he loves. She doesn't even get a horse. In fact, she's taunted by big horse statues. That's just mean. I don't know about this dodgy geriatric. Oh, it's the Iron Islands I see and the Queen of the motherfucking North right there. There's Tyrion. He's trying to find the light for the toilet. Dragon. Darkness. Darkness. That really is a shit tattoo. Whoa, fucking undead Gregor Clegane, Cersei doing Cersei things again. Here we go, April 24, I'm available, fuck me dead. Horses, boats, blind Arya, Baelish, Marge, fire, bow and arrows, explosions, dickless. Don't do it, Jamie, Brienne, creepy Halloween shop. Melisandre's boobs, Melisandre's boobs, random boobs. Fuck, I can't stop thinking about boobs now, I can't help it, I'm sorry. Crikey, this is getting out of control. There's Brano, the Night's King, fuck. Yeah, Game of Thrones. I know that. That's in the video description on their channel. What else have you got? Oh, Longclaw. It's Davos about to use Longclaw on some Night's Watch traitors. I've actually got goosebumps. I need to go into review mode right now. I have a massive stiffy. This is exciting as fuck. Here's me fucking face. That was exciting. That, alright, that was, I'm, I'm excited. I was critical of season 5, a bit grumpy last year, but I ended in a good place with it, alright? And season six, that was a very damn tight as fuck trailer. To end on Davos as well, massive respect. He's not the most marketable or sellable character like your Tyrions and your Aryas, but he's in my fucking top three. As we know, all the likable blokes and Sheilas get butchered, so I'm really fucking going for Davos. And to have him, to have him bloody being honest about, you know, my fighting skills aren't so good. He's got no fingers. I'm imagining it's going to be a hell of a scrappy fight. Those Night's Watch boys are mostly talk as well, so... It's gonna be a bit of a pub brawl, I reckon, that little that little showdown. And why is he protecting Jono's body? Wow, wow, come on, Melisandre's gonna do a bit of this, bit of that, all the fucking magic shenanigans, and he'll be back. I've been saying it all along, he'll he'll be back. There's too much setup. To have so much setup and mystery around him and just cut it all off for what? The purpose of like toying with fans? Utterly unprofessional. He's coming back. It's gonna kick ass. Other things that I found very exciting in that trailer, I'm wondering if Brienne and Sansa are gonna hook up, head to Castle Black to see fucking Jono and Davos as well, get a super team going. Theon might go separate ways. Uh, I'm also excited about Brano. Look, I'm still with the Starks, all the way. They are the characters who interest me the most and, and they're the side that I'm on. So seeing Brano again is good fun. He's developed a bit more through puberty. Uh, so that's gonna be that's gonna be good. He's gonna be a bit more badass. And running into the Night's King. I'm fucking excited about the Night's King. I mean season four, his little introduction there, doing the fucking fingernail on the baby, and then seeing him in Hard Home last year as well, which was a fair dink of amazing fucking episode. Yeah, the Night's King, the Night's King intrigues me a lot. I might, Night's King, I might end up going for the Night's King. Just, yeah, bloody take down King's Landing. Just do it. Do it. Get some sun. Get out of all that fucking frost and cold. Uh, other things I'm excited about. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, fucking, yeah, the fucking zombie mountain, Greg or Clegane. That's going to be some, some bloody amazing shit there. I'm genuinely intrigued to see how this all unfolds now. There's no safety net of the books. I'm scared. I've been a book wanker all along. I've been able to be all smug about what's going to happen next. Now I'm, I'm worried. I don't know what way it's going to go. It's terrifying. I don't know how non-book wankers have lived like this. Um, but I'm intrigued. I'm genuinely intrigued to see how it pans out. Uh, in terms of little concerns, I still worry about Jamie's character a lot. Uh, I mean, yeah, him and Cersei slipped into a bit of a dysfunctional lover's phase after Joffrey's death. Now Princess Marcella is gone as well. And they're just kind of going to go around in circles. There's, there's nothing new there, really. I'm really wanting to see Jamie kind of take on uh, the role of like his, his late father, Tywin Lannister, and become more of a, a fucking army general and a war strategist and things like that. So I worry a bit about Jamie's character, and I hope he's not just bouncing about like a, like a fucking empty shell or whatever. Um, yeah. But I'm excited. I'm excited. We'll talk more about it in the comments, alright? Break it down more in there. 
Uh, also, what I've got to get to uh, this month, it's fucking, it's loot crate time again. Uh, this was a big one as well. If you're, if you didn't fucking uh, get in on this shit, this is the dead box, which that was the theme. Loot Crate does a different theme each month, and they basically they deliver a mystery box of geek stuff to your fucking doorstep. You can do different levels of subscription, one off, three months, six months, uh, 12 months, uh, and you get a bunch of stuff in there. So this is the dead theme. Uh, next theme is gonna be Versus, which is fucking probably to do with Superman and Batman, I would say. That's my little prediction there. Uh, but let's have a look. Let's have a look at what was in Dead. If you want to sign up for Loot Crate, I've got a custom URL in the video description there. If you use the code Aussie Loot, you get 10% off. Just make sure you use that URL and use the code Aussie Loot. $10 from everyone sold goes towards my channel. So you're fucking me helping you're fucking helping me out. It was nine dollars last time. Got a pay rise. Fuck yes. High five. Uh, but let's open it up and have a look. If you're not interested in buying them, that's fine. Uh, and you can see all the goodies just by watching me have a look at this shit. Uh, so let's fucking rip the cunt open. All right. What do we got? What do we got? It's a nice big one this month. It really is. All right. Let's have a, let's have a fucking, got ourselves a bit of a t-shirt. This is a Deadpool t-shirt by the looks. That's fun. That's good. That's nice and like comic book style t-shirt there. You can back and have a look at that. Back and that's all right. That should look pretty good. I don't know. I mean, I, they might let me into a nightclub with it. It might not be trendy enough. I'll have to wear nice, nice shoes and try and get my Deadpool t-shirt into the nightclub. If not, fuck the nightclub. Um, but that's good. I think I got to alter the size. I'm getting too fat, so I'm gonna fucking get the next size up. Uh, what else we got? I mean, you can't miss this. This is a fucking ripper. QMX do some quality shit. It's nice that Loot Crate have got a little collaboration going on with them. They actually put a lot of time into custom, custom geek stuff, and it's always impressive. The Back to the Future hoverboard, which is up there on my little shelf, is cool as fuck. Uh, and this looks amazing too. Yeah, this is a ripper. This is, uh, we've found the best item, really. Uh, I think in this box. That is a bloody beauty. That is a bloody ripper. That is, he's coming out of some form of explosion. He's got his two swords doing his move there. I'm pretty fucking happy about that one. That's going to that's gonna go on the shelf uh, really well. That's going to sit right next to Snow Gear, Han Solo, Doc from Back to the Future. Just got a hodgepodge of a fucking super team happening. Uh, we got some Walking Dead stuff. We know it's hard for me to sell Walking Dead stuff to you considering I'm, I'm not that passionate about it anymore. Too repetitive for my liking, but I do like Grimesy. If this is something to do with Rick Grimes, then I'm gonna be pretty happy about it. Uh, can I open it? Can I? <laughs> Let's see what's coming next as well. Yeah, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, it's a little figure. You gotta put it. Oh, I got Daryl. I'm happy with that. Daryl and Grimesy, I still enjoy. It's a little Daryl figure. It's like a fucking Kinder Surprise. You gotta put it together. Uh, so I'll fucking do that later. Little pin, loot crate pin. It's a little zombie, zombie crate box. That's fun. This is this is cool as well. I actually think soap on a rope. Ears and necklace of ears. Walking Dead as well. This is cool. I would wear this, you know, I'm building up like a fucking costume from all these loot crate boxes. I would I would wear this to the fucking party with the face hugger from Aliens that I got last last month. My fucking ears necklace. Or you can save it for, you know, a loved one. Uh, you can give it to your missus next Valentine's Day. You know, if, if she's not into fancy rings and shit, just go, oh, I got your soap on a rope, ear necklace. There you go. We don't even need to go out for dinner. Just have that. Um, and then you get a little book as well to do with Stuff to do with dead. Looks like, oh yeah, how to survive zombie apocalypse as well. These are pretty fun. I just chuck them on the coffee table downstairs. Uh, but that's it. If you guys are interested, it helps my channel. You get this cool stuff sent out. They are a genuinely good company in terms of getting their shit out, sending it to you uh, in a reasonable time frame. And I've never had anything show up that's damaged and all that stuff. I've been doing it for a few months now. I was lazy, at, uh, lazy as fuck in the beginning. Now I've started showing you guys what's in them and I kind of enjoy doing it. Um, so yeah, if you want to get in on it, uh, the URL is in the fucking video description 
below and uh, make sure you use the code Aussie Loot for 10% off there. I think that's everything. I think we're done here. Fucking, it's been a good day. It's been a good wake up to a Game of Thrones trailer and get some fucking toys. I'm gonna go out for lunch now. So, uh, yeah, cheers guys, and uh, I'll catch you later. Fucking bring on season six. I am genuinely excited. Cheers. I've never been much of a fighter. Apologies for what you're about to see.